How have you been, my dear audience? Welcome back to Weekly Spotlight. Another week has passed, and we're finally back with some piece of news about the global crypto situation. You might want to know. Without further ado, let's get started on the first one, shall we? Firstly, we have a wonderful news from one of the biggest social media maker. They has collaborated with Instagram parent company to announce another development in its digital art initiative. As of September 29, all users on both platforms can donate wallets and share non-fungible tokens NFT across 100 countries. As part of the future, users will be able to tag creators and collectors and cross both digital collectibles between platforms without any paying any fees. In August, Meta started allowing users to post digital collectibles that they own across Facebook and Instagram, and announced an international expansion to countries in Africa, Asia Pacific, the Middle East, and the Americas. The company also added support with third-party wallets such as Rainbow, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, and Diaper Wallet, along with the support for the Ethereum, Polygon, and Flow blockchains. Next, the crypto community has been really hyped up from the new white paper release of Cosmos, which proposed a revamped Cosmos hub aimed at strengthening interoperability and security, along with the key changes Cosmos Atom token. Cosmos is an ecosystem of blockchain designed to scale and interoperate with each other. Cosmos Hub was the first blockchain to be built on Cosmos, which initially served as an intermediary between other interconnected blockchains. Atom is used to transact within the Cosmos ecosystem, which can also be used for governance and staking purposes. Under the proposed chain, Cosmos will become a more interoperable, decentralized and secure system. According to the white paper, Interchain Scooter will also enable Cosmos Hub to host a novel category of applications with complementary functionality. The white paper also proposed a new issuance model for Atom, with the aim to strike a better balance between ecosystem growth and interchain adoptions, while still reserving the security afforded by the original RAM. The white paper also outlined a plan to further accrue more value to the Atom token by enabling the level liquid staking. This will allow Atom holders to unstake Atom as easily as they stake them, which will soon be enabled by the Cosmos liquid staking model. So promising, right? Cosmos will be one of the most vibrant ecosystems in a few years, and we should monitor it closely to find our opportunities. Moving on, we have some news from our biggest crypto exchange, Binance, in which they have burned all the lunacy trading fees on all the trading bears, following the community feedback. On September 23, Binance CEO Chen Beng Zhao wrote that the exchange will create an option no 1.2% tax when trading lunacy. Jesus added that they will roll out the 1.2% tax for all the lunacy trading pairs if traders who opt in to pay the tax. 15% of the total lunacy trading volume on the exchange, leaving the decision to users. However, the day after the post, CZ laid out the flaw of their previous plan. Because of this, Binance announced a revised method to support the revival of lunacy. According to CZ, the exchange will now completely burn all the trading fees that it collects from its lunacy BUSD and lunacy USDT spot and margin trading bears. The fees collected will be converted into Lunacy and sent to the Lunacy official burning address. Through this, the Binance CEO believes that the exchange will be able to contribute to decreasingly supply of Lunacy and the fare to all users. Next, we have an amazing news for the NFT community. On September 29, global music and entertainment company Warner Music Group announced a partnership with non-fungible token marketplace OpenSea to provide a platform for select musical artists to build and extend their fanbase into the Web3 community. According to the release, the collaboration between these two entities will allow select Warren Music Group artists to get early access to OpenSea newly rollout feature, which enables artists to launch the NFT collections and limited editions project on their own customizable and dedicated group page. This WMG artist will have access to personalized storytelling and customized landing page, as well as to OpenSea industry leading safety and security features. The partnership aims at helping WMG artists build new web community communities, intends to introduce existing fan communities to OpenSea, to the new form of connections and creativity through entities, and open up new opportunities for fans to engage with music and NFT within the web community. And finally, let me introduce to you some of the sectors that Bantara, one of the biggest crypto capital in this world, has been bullishing about. At a token 2049 event in Singapore, Bantara CEO 
Dan Moorhead highlighted the potential growth and value of decentralized finance, DeFi, Web3 functionality, NFTs, and metaverse applications in his opening keynote speech. DeFi, Web3, NFTs, and the metaverse project hold the most promise, according to the Moorhead. The Ventura CEO also mused over the state of DeFi, which endured a tough few months following the Terra collapse and the contention of the now defunct leading firms. Moorhead suggests that the DeFi current commands of $20 billion market cap in comparison to the traditional finance system of $3 billion means there is plenty of room for growth in this sector. The CEO also bullish about Web3, given its focus on giving users control of their data, as well as the platform owned or governed by the community rather than centralized entities. The Bantara CEO concludes his presentations by underlying his belief that the current cryptocurrency market cycle is different from previous years, given strong fundamentals, pointing to some 200 million people that use blockchain-based platform and cryptocurrency, we could increase to 1 billion in the next 3 years. Okay, y'all, that's all we're gonna go over in this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this and also learn something new from it. If you find this interesting, you can always check out our daily news at brme.space where you will see crypto updates every day. Thank you for your watching and supporting us.